What's up, YouTubers? Welcome to my Silver Stack Showcase, where I exhibit unique coins in my Silver Stack collection. So, what? So, as you can see, you see two European gold pieces right in front of you. One of them from France, the other from one from Switzerland. You might ask me why am I showing these coins? Well, I've been hearing a lot of talk lately about the European Union, especially on how uh, Greece um, Greece refuses the bailout, and how this could lead to a domino effect in which more nations are going to like break out of the e out of the EU, the European Union, the Eurozone the zone. Um, okay, so, well, on this particular subject, what you see here, uh, here, um, are gold coins issued during a period in European history known as the Latin Monetary Union. The Latin Monetary Union is basically the Euro before the Euro, but there is a huge difference between the Latin Monetary Union and the Euro. The Euro is pure fiat currency. The Latin Monetary Union is a uh, is a standard based on precious metals. The Latin Monetary Union was established by Napoleon the Third, Emperor of France. Basically, what Napoleon wanted to do is to establish a standard coinage uh, among all member nations of the Latin Monetary Union. The members of the Latin Monetary Union include, of course, France, Switzerland, Italy, um... Who else? Belgium, uh, Greece, and Spain. Uh, yeah, these countries. So yeah, it's France, Belgium, Switzerland, Greece, and Spain. Those were all members of the Latin Monetary Union. So basically, as I said before, what Napoleon the Third wanted to do was to establish a set standard among all precious metal coinage by the, by the member nations in the Latin Monetary Union. So, and of course, <clears throat> and of course, um, this standard is modeled after the French franc. So this French 20 franc you see right here is... 0.1867 ounces of pure gold and each uh and each nation has their own equivalent to the french 20 franc the the spain has the 20 pesetas Gr greece has the 20 drachmas belgium has the 20 francs and switzerland has the 20 francs and all these coins are equivalent in precious metal content to the French 20 franc. This not well. This standard doesn't only apply to the 20 the 20 franc coin. This standard also applies to the to silver coinage and other and copper coinage. Basically, the coinage of other nations. Uh, of other of other members of the Latin Monetary Union are are to the same exact specifications as French coinage. So yeah, the Latin Monetary Union lasted until the outbreak of World War One, because during World War One, uh, World War One pitted many members of the Latin Monetary Union against each other. And because uh, each uh, and because the Latin Monetary Union countries were were at war with each other, this 
obviously ended this obviously ended the Latin Monetary Union. So yeah, for those of you those of you who don't know, there was a euro before the euro, but this euro is backed by by actual precious metal, not some fiat currency. So yeah, I would just like to show you some coinage from the Latin Monetary Union. This is the 1908 French 20 franc. It shows the French personification of liberty, Mary Ann, on the reverse. I mean, on the obverse, I mean. She's shown wearing um, a wreath and a liberty cap. And of course... And of course, the reverse of the coin shows the the Gaelic rooster, the national symbol of France. Basically, the Gaelic rooster is the French equivalent of the American bald eagle. Um, here's my other Latin Monetary Union coin, a 1922 Switzerland 10 franc. You see Helvetica. She's the personification of the, the of the Swiss nation, and you of course you see the Swiss cross with sunbeams and a wreath and the denomination ten francs. So yeah. So with all this talk about the European Union, this really inspired me to make a video about the the. The grandfather of the European Union, the Latin Monetary Union. So, yeah. I know, I need to work on my speech. I mean, I mean, I really don't rehearse this stuff before I say it. I just say what's in my head, but, yeah. But I hope you guys under understood what I said. Um, so... Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Peace, YouTubers.